How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of my new podcast series, Preparing for the Future. We are almost at the end of this series, believe it or not. We only have about, uh, including today's episode, and two more, and then that is it. And uh, as I said in the last episode, um, I'm going for the next two episodes, I'm going to have some guest speakers. Uh, share their opinions on the topic that we'll be talking about today. And the topic that we'll be uh, discussing today is going to be about teamwork. And teamwork is one of the most important things that you need to have in a job or wherever you decide to be in the future. Teamwork is always a great thing and a lot of good can come out of it. And this episode, these next two episodes are going to work a little bit differently because I have guest speakers that are going to be talking. Um, my normal uh, segments for how I do things are going to be a little bit different. I'm mostly going to be talking about my own experiences with teamwork, and then I'm going to cut to um, my guest speaker. And then I'm going to wrap up the episode because we will only have a few minutes left. So that's how things are going to go for the next two episodes, but that's just what I've been able to do. So without further ado, let's get started. What does teamwork mean to me? Teamwork to me means everything. You know, if it weren't, if it wasn't for teamwork, there would be a lot of uh, jobs and situations that I would not be able to get through without teamwork. And a lot of the teamwork came from my time at Disney because we are trained to use teamwork. Whenever we are in a situation that we know that we can't do by ourselves, we always have to call for others and use teamwork. And there have been many, many instances where I've needed friends' help in numerous situations. In fact, there was uh, one time while I was working down at Disney where sometimes you could be short of supplies to clean up certain messes. There was a little bit of a mess on one of uh, the Disney buses. I was called to go clean it, but I didn't have a lot of supplies with me at the time because the supply closet was really far away, but I was the closest one to the problem. So what I did was I called up one of my friends who was working at that time and he came over, gave me supplies, and we were able to tackle the mess together and it didn't take take long at all. But that's just like a simple thing. Even when dealing in certain situations, but this is going to get more into the next episode, um, I have found that with teamwork, a lot of things feel... You feel a lot more comfortable because you know that with another person or with friends, coworkers, whatever, you'll be able to handle any situation that comes your way. And that is actually true. There have been times where, in a way, I have felt kind of stressed about how to do something. But I've had friends that were there with me to help me. And I'll never forget it. My first day out of training for Disney. It was my first day out of training. I did everything in my training correctly. It was now my first day on the job doing what I would normally do. And needless to say, I was a little nervous. I was given an area to be throughout the entire day to do uh, sweeping and take out trash. I had, I was actually really nervous. Even though I completed training and I was really comfortable with everything, I was still uh, really, really nervous. And fortunately for me, one of my cast members noticed that I was, you know, just feeling a little bit just not ready to start the day. Um, And this guy ended up becoming my best friend during my first program, but I'm not going to reveal his name on the podcast. But he became my best friend. He's like, hey, you doing all right? I'm like, yeah, it's just my first day out of training. And I'm just not exactly sure what I should be doing right now, even though I know like the main job. It's like, okay, let me help you. And this best friend of mine walked walked me to my area, and just kind of guided me about what each of these cast members do on a given day. And that is, you know, we take out the trash, we sweep, and we make sure our designated area is clean. But he also said, you know, if you have the free time, feel free to go and walk up to people, talk to people, you know, get information from them, let them know if there's anything we can do to help, and so on and so forth. If it wasn't for my friend there to help me, then there is no way I would have been able to get through that first day. And it turns out that I had situations where um, I would be taking out trash and my trash bag would unfortunately explode, putting trash all over the place. And thankfully, 
with a couple with a couple of my friends and coworkers, we were able to get that all cleaned up and organized and taken care of right away. So that way the park looked back to being as clean as possible. And I think that, you know, with any team, you know, if you can develop that connection with your coworkers or friends in general, there's nothing you can't accomplish. I mean, let's be let's be real here. There's there's nothing standing in your way from completing a task. And now we're going to jump to one of our guest speakers. I'm going to be in introducing you all to our first speaker, which is uh, Ashley Sanders. She is a student of Aurora University, and she's going to be talk to, talking to you guys about what she thinks of teamwork and certain situations where she had to use teamwork to help her uh, during her time in school or in her personal life. So, Ashley? Take it away. Hi, Tim. Thank you for having me on your podcast. I am excited to be here. And as you have said, I am Ashley Sanders. I am a sophomore at Aurora University. I am double majoring in health science and English, and I am minoring in psychology. And I believe teamwork is incredibly crucial. Humans are naturally social creatures, so it's important to be able to work together because if you're going to have to work individually, not that there's a problem with that, you're not going to be able to achieve as much as if you're able to work with a group. And being able to work with a group is important. Many, many jobs you work with others. Rarely do you actually work alone. So if you're able to create a group bond and able to effect effectively communicate and kind of create that teamwork bond, it's just going to make your life, your job so much more easier. And you're, gonna, you're just going to feel better that you can talk to others, you can count on people, you're able to contribute to something that's bigger than yourself because you're working with others. You're able to share goals. You, you might have something very important to you, and then you find someone who thinks that's just as important to them. So that's awesome. You can work together. You can collaborate and kind of come together for the greater good. So in that sense, teamwork is incredibly important because you have all these minds, all this diversity coming together for one common goal. And that's basically the basis of many different things in life is people coming together, accepting each other for who they are and working towards something that's bigger than themselves. For me, uh, as a health, as one of my majors being health science, I am in many, many labs and teamwork is absolutely crucial, necessary. My labs would not go as smoothly as they have been if not for teamwork. For example, I am in organic chemistry two this semester and we have lab once a week. And we usually work in pairs of anywhere between two to four people in the lab group. And because we're in organic chemistry two opposed to one, a lot of this is remembering past information so that we can apply it for this lab. So we need all two, three, four of our brains coming together to be able to perform the lab and do it correctly. That's very important. And even once we know what we're doing, everyone has to have a role. We have to have someone to grab the chemicals. We have to have usually two people at the very least setting up the apparatus because it can kind of be complex at times. And then we'll have the fourth, peop fourth person grabbing glassware, cleaning up, measuring different chemicals with the other person who's gathering chemicals. So basically everyone has a job. And if we weren't able to communicate with one another, if we weren't able to collaborate, we wouldn't be able to do the lab or we might be able to do the lab, but we would not do it correctly because if we can't talk to one another, we can't cooperate with one another. The person grabbing the chemicals wouldn't know what to grab. The person who's massing a chemical wouldn't know how much to mass. The two people setting up the apparatus wouldn't know how to properly set it up. And if you cannot properly set it up, you can't run the lab as efficiently or even run it at all if nothing is going to go smoothly. So in that sense, teamwork is very important and helps it helps you work together to to go to the end in order to make something work. Everyone has to be on the same page. And if you have inner tension, it's just it's not going to be a fun time. My labs are usually always a fun time because although we struggle together, we help each other. We may not understand something, but when we're able to talk to one another and be like, oh, hey, I think we should set up the apparatus like this, or maybe we should mass this amount in order to change this variable, it kind of, it just makes everything go by much more swiftly when we're able to talk, when we're able to plan together, work together, and just experience the lab together. 
as well as for my other ma majors in English, we're constantly writing papers. So it's important to kind of have your inner core of people in order to review and have someone trusted to look at your papers. We've had to write papers as a group. That and in my psychology classes, we have to write papers as, as a group. So to make sure that everyone is writing what they're supposed to be writing is on the same page, that we have the same, roughly the same tone throughout the essay, it's very important to collaborate and communicate what exactly we want to talk about, make sure everyone knows what they're doing, and make sure everyone can be happy with the end product and happy with the process so that we can create the best paper, we can, exper we can experience the best lab together, and ultimately that's what it's all about. Teamwork is coming together for a common goal. You're not alone. You know, you can work alone, but it's going to be so much more beneficial if you're working with others, especially with lab when you have to have other people working with you. It's so important that you're, that you're all on the same page so that things can get done. And more importantly, it's not just so you can get through the lab, get through the, the worksheets that go along with the lab. It's so you can learn together, you can experience together. And that's why teamwork is so critical, because you're experiencing life together. And life's a lot better when you're experiencing it with other people. Thanks, Timmy. Okay, thank you very much, Ashley. Thank you so much for being here. It was great to have you and share some extra, extra stories about what teamwork means to everybody and how it means to different people. And to kind of start wrapping up this episode, ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing I can just say is that, uh, to me, you know, e even just like the, the bond of friendship means so much to me. And it, it's important to realize, and I know that I've said this early on in other episodes, but I want to bring it up again, is that making that connection, even if it's, you know, with your coworkers or your boss, it's important that you make those connections because, if you do make those connections, you know, your work is just going to go by so smoothly and you may have a really long, crazy day ahead of you. And having that connection with your coworkers and bosses and doing your job, it's going to make things way easier. It's going to take a lot of weight off your shoulders. And I want to, I want to wrap this up with one more story for you guys. Um, so as you guys know, again, Working at Disney, yada yada yada. <laughs> just I, I I just like saying that. Um, I was fortunate enough to work during the Fourth of July down at the Magic Kingdom. Now let me tell you something. Working a holiday at Disney is very very crazy and it can be very very hectic. The park is at capacity. There's hardly any room to walk, and that was a situation where teamwork was the only way we were going to get through our jobs today. Because during that time, we have a special fireworks show, there is a DJ presenting, and there's just a lot of people having fun, eating, drinking, all that good stuff. And we all had designated areas again, and we were told to stay in those areas during that time and to make sure that everything was taken care of at the end. So as soon as people start walking out of the parks, there is garbage everywhere. We got we got to clean all of it up. And it gets to the point where we all have our like carts at the ready and we all just do our best to take every single trash out into the trash can and we ended up overloading our trash compa uh the compactor which was kind of crazy, a little bit scary at first because we were hoping that we weren't going to break it. But because we were all coordinated and we knew what was coming, we were able to tackle the situation without any stress. Even though that kind of is hinting at my next episode, um, which, but there are many other story, there are many other things I'm going to be able to talk about for that one. But this is kind of leaning it back to teamwork. I'll, I'll explain to you guys really quickly how bad it was. You know, there's there's trash overflowing and there's trash all around the trash cans itself. You know, I had one of my bosses come, and the great thing about our bosses was that they were wearing our costumes, our custodial costumes, so, you know, they were, you know, they are one of us, which was really cool, and they would get gloves on, pick up trash, 
put it in our trash bins, and help us out. It took a while, but we were able to take what look, almost looked like a disaster and turn it into something phenomenally and just sparkling clean. And that's why I'm grateful that I have those coworkers and bosses to be able to tackle these um, situations and use teamwork. Okay, and that pretty much wraps up uh, this episode. We have two more episodes to go. It's almost time, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost time for this podcast series to come to an end. In the uh, next episode, we are going to be talking about stressful situations at work and how you can deal with it. And I'm going to have another guest speaker talking to you guys about their experiences with that. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this latest episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one.